Welcome to our video on how to use the database Britannica School with a focus on elementary. Let's start at uh, our Tulare Public Library homepage. On the homepage, you'll see uh, a series of boxes of information. You want to click on Research and Databases. And there's two ways to find um, Britannica School Database. You can either go to Student Success, click on the arrow and it shows you here. It's right here, Britannica School. Or you can go to the complete list of databases and it is here, Britannica School. Now just keep in mind with the library card, you have access to all of these databases free. So you'll see the home page of the database and you'll see it's three learning levels, elementary, middle, and high. Uh, for today's tutorial, we're just going to do elementary because once you learn one of the learning levels, you're going to know your way on all of them because they're set up the same way. Now you'll see a search box when I clicked on the arrow there. Uh, if you knew immediately what you're wanting to search, you can click in that box and it would take you to the list of articles. In this case, we're going to click on the word elementary because we want to actually see the layout of the database first. Now we're at uh, the, we entered the elementary school database. So we'll see on the very top, that blue bar here, we see that another search box, and once again, if you knew or know uh, what you're going to search, you can type, for instance, if we wanted to look up spiders, we can type the word spiders and enter, and you'll see the list here re in relation to spiders. Um, the next option is about educators. Now, this is specifically for uh, teachers or any type of a person in a teaching um, position. Um, they have um, tutorials and lesson plans and um, just stuff that um, educators would need. The next one is help. This is if you want more information about this database or you want to know more on how to do research or sharing. It's all here and you can go back and uh, take a look at what's in the help section. The My Britannica section, it has the option to sign in to a personal account. So if you had a Google email, you would sign in there. In this case, I did one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign in because I want you to uh, see how to uh, do favorites later on. So we're going to get back in. You'll notice here that this has changed to favorites and resource packs, as well as the option for me to sign out. Now, the top portion of this page is usually uh, facts, uh, trivia. It changes from time to time. It's just uh, a little fun fact um, for to keep you interested in um, learning different subjects. The middle section is the explore section and it's divided into articles, images, and biographies. If you click on articles, you'll see the subject matters are divided into different groupings, animals, places, sports, and hobbies, for instance. The second section is images and videos. This is uh, really good if you're looking for a particular image um, if, for instance, you want to just browse all the bird images, you can click right there on birds and it will come up with a list of different bird images that you can print out, okay? Then the third section is biographies. Now, the way biographies is set up is it's the first initial of the person's last name that you're looking for. For instance, if we were looking for George Washington, our first president, you would go to W because Washington starts with the W and you can scroll down the list until we find George Washington. However, if that list is very long or you just feel that that was too long of a wait, just like it says here to the left, you can do control F, type in the word Washington, 
hit enter, and it will show every word Washington highlighted, and then you can find it quicker that way. Okay. Now, underneath the explore section, you'll see this banner called Botanic of Monumentals. This is a database for pre-K to second level early learners. And I'm going to take you there real quickly so you can take a look. So if you have any younger brothers or sisters, they can um, use this website and it's appropriate for their learning level. Now the Animal Kingdom is a fun section. You'll see animals and insects grouped into specific groupings. So if we click on one of these, let's say mammals, you'll see a brief description of that group. And then further on, you'll see the animals listed in alphabetical order. Now, if I was interested in learning more, anything blue that becomes highlighted, you can click on for further information. And uh, we're looking at a bobcat right now. And you'll see the introduction, where they live, and physical features, as well as behavior and life cycle. Now, you'll notice here on the very top, reading level. Uh, what's really great about Britannica School Elementary, not only is the information that you find here reliable, um, but also you can change the reading level just by clicking on the next number, reading level number two. And I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So you'll see also the reading level has increased and the pictures layout has changed. There's also a reading level three. If two is still not enough challenging, we can go to three. And once again, the layout has changed. So we're going to go back by clicking on Britannica and going back into the elementary section. So we're talking about the animal kingdom. So let's go back into mammals. Um, so you also see, let's go back into Bobcat um, here. If there was an article I like, for instance, Bobcat, I really like this article. And since up here, as you remember, I'm already signed in, I, I can, click on favorites and the screen will pop up add to favorites now it will ask me if i want to add it to existing resource pack now resource pack what that is is it's just another name for a folder so if i'm going to do multiple favorites it's always a good idea to keep uh, them organized in a folder so i could do a name or I can um, create a new one. In this case, I don't have one. So I'm just gonna do done because I just wanna save it. And if I go back here to my Britannica and click on favorites, guess what? There it is, Bobcat. Now, if I have a favorite and I've already done my research, I don't need it in my folder anymore. I can just click here on the delete and remove the favorite, just that easy. It's a really helpful way to keep track of um, articles that uh, maybe you just want to read further later on. Be welcome to do that, but just remember you do need to um, register by using uh, either email through Google, or if you don't want to use your email, that's okay for students. You can just create a username and a password, and then you'll have a login which you can save your favorites, okay? So uh, once again, let's go back to mammals and Bobcat. And you'll see there's an option to print as well as email, site. You can increase the font. You can decrease it. And you can translate as well using Google Translate. Another cool feature is you can share to the Google Classroom or the Google Drive if you have uh, an account with Google as well. You also see there's a picture here you can click on if you wanted to print that and there's options to print email site and Google Classroom the image as well. Now let's continue to the next section 
which is geography. In geography, we have four sections, World Atlas. Now, with this World Atlas, you can just click anywhere in the world you want to click. And then what's cool about this is if you click on summary, it will give you information of where you clicked as well as statistics. The next section is called Tour of the USA and it pretty much works the same way except it's statistics and information about states in the USA. So if I wanted to know about Kansas, there you go, click on Kansas and you get the information and statistics. The next section is Compare Countries. So if you wanted to compare two countries, let's say we want to compare Argentina with Canada. There you go. You'll see the flags, you'll see the form of government, the capitals, the languages and religions and population as well as other statistics. Lastly, we have Geography Explorer. Geography Explorer is a game actually to learn uh, geography. So I highly recommend if you want to play a game and learn at the same time to use Geography Explorer. And then at the very bottom, you'll see a banner for Britannica Escolade. This is the Spanish version of Britannica School. There it is. And once again, you can use that free with your library card as well. So um, let's do another little search here. Let's say I wanted to search uh, lions. Type in lions. You'll see lion mammal. You click on there. What's really cool about uh, this is sometimes, let's say you didn't know uh, what a word meant. So you can just select the word and double click and you'll see the definition of the word come up. Pretty cool, huh? As well as Britannica School Elementary will have videos. And this concludes the tutorial, yay, for a Britannica School database with the focus on elementary. I hope this got you interested in using this database in the near future. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. Our number is area code 559-685-4500. And I hope you get interested in taking a look at our other databases that are free with your library card. Have a good day.